Yeah, they might be racing around this beautiful 12-turn track on 600s as well. So uh, look forward to that. Uh, always uh, good to welcome more bikes onto the grid, especially this wonderful Buriram circuit, four and a half kilometres long. That wonderful turn 12 has created uh, so much drama. So remarkable. Let's go down to find out what the mood is down on the, uh, on the grid lane. Wheeling has got some interviews with the main protagonists for today. CK Chavichit. It's the final race of the 2019 season and down here on the grid with Aslan Shah Kamaruzama. Aslan, I know yesterday you told me all you want to do is enjoy, finish the race, don't crash, but it is all on the line today and you are being placed in a must-win situation. Yeah, it's uh, incredible. Uh situation you know because uh, i'm very lucky for what happened yesterday and you know it's it's like uh it's crazy it's it's difficult to describe on on uh, on the word but anyway today is a uh, last round and i just wish that i i do my best and uh, try to grab the championship all right thank you aslan good luck for the final race and the man that Aslan is going up against is definitely uh, Australian rider Brock Parks. Brock, brand new day today, brand new race, but it is the final one. It is all on the line today and definitely, I know you're feeling the pressure, but how are you looking forward to the last race of the year? Yeah, it's uh, like every race, but yeah, you know, you have the pressure. Uh, unfortunately, yesterday I made a mistake. And uh, I feel better today. I think now, today I can fight, so I'll try and uh, definitely fight at the front and put the pressure. I can thank you, Brock Parks, and we'll see all the riders for the final race of the year. Okay, Steve Martin, analyze those two interviews, please. Well, either one or the other, will be the winner at the end of the day of the championship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm not going to fall into the uh, trap of analysing anything in this Buriram circuit because it is just crazy out there. But if you want to look at it, in the morning warm-up, Aslan Shah was quickest. So, bang, he's already got a mental thing there. But Brock was very, very consistent in the morning warm-up. The problem that those guys have got are guys like this. Zach Quinzaidi, who's in it to win it and nothing else. He won yesterday. He knows how to win here, and that Honda is working sweet. The, the guys like at Rathapon Willerot, who on their day, he knows his circuit inside out. He can do something special here. He really can get a good result. He was riding well yesterday. If he can hold it together to the end, it will happen. There's Brock Parks. He's got to win it. Whoever that wins it will be the champion. Three points in it. It's, uh, it's just going to be a crazy race. You've been in pressure cooker situations yourself. It's, it's surely impossible not to think about the ramifications of having a bad ride. Brock wouldn't have slept well last night. Um, not for the fact that he had the crash, but Aslan's been going so well at this circuit. He's got um, uh, a history of going well, and Brock was struggling a little bit yesterday. But uh, looking at Brock's uh, demeanour there, as we just have a quick look at Appiwath, who had a great ride yesterday too. Uh, brilliant ride. Um, looking at that demeanour, I, I just think that Brock and his team have found something. I think it's going to be an out-and-out -out shootout today. In the end, there's no point finishing second. If Aslan wins this race, Brock will not win. Brock uh, has got that three-point buffer, so if he's right behind Aslan and Aslan doesn't win, well, you know, Aslan has to win. So that's where we're at. Pretty much a lot of people got to do things that they might not be able to do. And then you throw in a wild card uh, like uh, Tingnote, who had a brilliant ride yesterday. We know how wild he can be. Uh, I think we're in for a reasonably exciting race. I think it's going to be cracker. The whole season's been building up to this. Since March, we've been really, really developing this season, and we come into the final race with just three points separating them. Zach Wanzani, recently married, 
won yesterday is on pole position. Aslan Shah Kamrazaman, second yesterday, three points adrift of the championship leader. Abiwat Wang Tanan in front of his home team for the Yamaha Thai racing team can lap very, very quickly. 136, 132 in qualification. Brock Parks, championship leader, did so well to pick up his bike out of the gravel and get home for four points yesterday. It could be the difference between winning and losing the championship. Ratapong Willerot, another from the Yamaha Thai racing team, knows this track like the back of his hand. Chai Wichit Nisikal, he's next on the Kawasaki for the Thai racing team. He's on the Ninja, lapping quickly at 136, 675. Titipong, who's had a remarkable recovery from injury, and since he's come back from injury, he has had three podium places, uh, four podium places in five races. Ahmad Yudhisthira for Victor Racing Team. He's uh, been as competitive as he possibly can be on that bike. Federico Sandi for Ducati. We mentioned and we heard about Federico. Good first um, weekend for him. Last time out in uh, in Malaysia, looking to maybe just build on that and develop Ducati next season. Yuki Ito, you cannot write off Yuki Ito. Does so well at 600, but the Yamaha tyre racing team member is on P10. TJ Alberto on the second of the Ducatis is on P11. And Lachlan Epis for the Victor Racing Team, he's coming in. He will have learned a lot yesterday, having uh, uh, picked up his, his first real experience of this Buram circuit. And 13th on the 1S, uh, 1XOX team is Ali Adrianza Ruzmiputro. So you were quite right to say there are many very, very genuine champion, uh, not championship, world-class contenders out on the track today. Yeah, and I was quite right to say that it's going to be too hard to pick the winner because there are four or five guys that can win this race, but uh, literally only three that have a shot at the championship. If you were a betting man, if you were, and I know you're not, where would you put somebody else's money? Aslan Parks. <laughs> I don't know. Very good. Well, 13 laps of this four and a half um, kilometer track. It's a little bit tense out there, a little bit nervous. All the riders are happily on their mark. The flags are clear. We look at the red lights. The start can be a useful indicator of how things are going. Somebody's got a problem at the back. We are actually we're away. I'm not sure that was uh, TJ Alberto with that problem at the back, but uh, Brock Parks with a much better start today. Where's Aslan Shah? Where is Aslan Shah is second. He's got through him. Oh, Aslan Shah, he's right up the sharp end. Absolutely. He's done brilliantly. Got off brilliantly. And uh, Zach Wanzaidi, happy what Bike 24 has been dragged along. I'm looking for the number 23 of Brock Parks. Fourth. They're tucked in nicely in that little group. Oh, he's just got, uh, he's just run wide and got passed by another couple of people. So Aslan Shah has uh, read this uh, start beautifully and got a brilliant start. Brock, once again, just uh, struggles a little bit off the start line here. Well, he is a way down and he's gone wide there. One, two, three, four, five, six place for Brock Parks. Aslan Shah Kamruzaman has made a great start. There's a long way to go, but if you get off to a good start, it can propel you onto special things. He looked relaxed on the po uh, on the um, grid. He looked relaxed before and when we had a chance to speak to him. And here he's looking very relaxed in P1. Yeah, Rathapong will arrive once again. Uh, good out of the blocks. He's up there in fourth position, I think, at the moment. Happy Wath uh, in second, and uh, Zachary Zaidi. Now, we know how good he can be, but uh, Aslan Shah, what a brilliant start for him. He's done everything right at the moment. A BMW has been a, a, a fine friend for him this first season. As he comes to the end of lap one, he's going to go into that right-hand corner, run slightly wide, but Aslan Shah Kamruzaman has a lead at the end of lap one from uh, Zakwan and Apiwat and Ratapong and Sandy and the gap between him and Brock Parks is two full seconds. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot uh, over the, the course of the first lap. Aslan Shah has absolutely got the hammer. Look at him go. Brock is not even in that leading group at the moment. He's got a lot of work to do. You've just got to be consistent, Brock Parks. That's exactly what he does. Not panic, there is a long, long way to go. We've got over 65 kilometers still to race and barely seconds between them. But Aslan Shah Kamruzaman, he's trying to win this one early. 
high up out of the sticks as Zakwam is in second place ahead of Abu Wat and Ratapong and Federico Sandy. Let's mention the Ducati in fifth place there. He's uh, having a good early ride. Yeah, we uh, did a good job to interview him in the team uh, just before the race, didn't we? Because he's uh, come good, had a bad... Oh, wow, look at that up the inside. What a great ride by Sandy. He, he didn't have the best lead up into this meeting. He actually uh, got uh, sideswiped by a car and, uh, while he was out jogging, believe it or not, and uh, got some tendon damage to that uh, right leg. Luckily, not his left leg, but uh, Sandy is really just uh, showing what that Ducati can do. Can't wait to see it with the proper electronics next year. Bike number 15 on the Ducati, Federico Sandy is up into P4. He just loses that out to Ratapong as Ratapong goes on the inside, but Aslan Shah Kamru Zaman is leading from Zakwan Zaidi and Ratapong Happy Watt has dropped off the pace. Sandy has got there. Where is Brock Parks? Parks is currently in sixth place. 2.4 seconds down on Aslan Shah. Yeah, I mean, look at Aslan Shah now. There's daylight between him and the rest of the field. Brock Parks uh, has got a lot of work to do if he's going to pull this back. The only thing is at the moment, look at Rathabong will rot. That's a great uh, race by him. Rathabong takes Zach Wanzaidi. For Ratapong, he has not had a podium. Best result this season, six, no. He had a fourth place in Japan, but he's had three six places and three seven places. There is Brock Parks, the championship leader, but it's a tenuous lead in the championship, and he has got 10 laps to rescue his title, Steve Martin. Yeah, he certainly has um, at the moment. Uh, he, he's up against a lot of hard competition to try and get past. He dives up the inside. There's one. Good move by Brock Parks there, he, but that gap is, uh, and look at, uh, oh, up the inside he goes. Boy, as they head back down that straight, Brock Parks has uh, taken one, but his Yamaha compatriots aren't helping him out too much there, Des. No, they're not really. <laughs> 24, Appy Watt, he's got Parks right, wow, look at the lead that Aslan Shah has got. Sandy's oh. there, there was a moment for Zakwan. He's able to hold on, but Sandy tries to go through the inside. Aslan Shah is in the distance. He's halfway to Bangkok. 36-2, uh, 36-3 last time round for him. He's a second a lap quicker than everybody. Incredible, as we have a look at the moment here for... Zakwan. Zakwan. There goes uh, Radapot. He nearly runs in the back of him, but look at uh, Sandy. Nice and tight, gets that Ducati power on early, and bang, good uh, good move by Sandy to put himself in front of Zakwan Zaidi and up into a podium position at the moment. Rock Parks has just got to believe in his own ability, believe in his own consistency, but he's also got to hope that Aslan Shah Kamrazaman doesn't carry on this incredible start that he's made. Well, yeah, I mean... Um, Aslan Shah at the moment is just, you know, in an incredible position. Parks has got himself ahead of Apiwat. Now he's got Sandy ahead of him. Sandy on the Ducati. Yeah, the problem we've got for Brock is that he needs to, if Aslan wins the race, Brock needs, is not going to win. So that's where it sits right now. Brock needs to win this race. And uh, to win from that far back, what is he, two points over three seconds back already in three laps. It's a second a lap he's lost in the first three laps. Talk to me about tyres. We have the Dunlop guys bringing the tyre information in and we've not really analysed it, but has Brock been conservative and, and has um, Aslan Shah really gone for it? Well, I've looked at that and both of those guys are using uh, hard front and hard rear, which is what they had yesterday. So even though Brock crashed with the hard front and hard rear yesterday, we heard him say that it was his mistake, and he has chosen those tyres again. So that's what he's gone for. Happy has gone for the soft rear again, which is what he used yesterday. And all in all, I take my hat off to Dunlop. It looks like all the different combinations of tyres seem to be working pretty well here this weekend. That is one heck of a lead for Aslan Shah Kamruzam, and flying through is Federico Sandy into P2. Sandy's got himself into a good position. What a ride this is on the Ducati. He's overtaken uh, Latapong. Zakon is now in P4, and Brock Bart is there, but there is the 
big leader, two and a half seconds clear of uh, second place, three and a half seconds clear of Brock Parks when they went over the line last time. Yeah, and Brock's gone back another spot. Happy Wath has gone past, so uh, boy, Brock is going to need a miracle if he's going to win this one, but he's running wide there. Can't really hold the tight line, so I don't know. It just looks like they haven't really got on top of the handling there. That is Out the end is of the race. Latipong. Yeah, Brad upon with a rot out. Well, let's one down for Brock to get past. <laughs> it is just a process of elimination. He's got to believe. And oh. then he's got to get close to Aslan Shah Kamazaman, and then he's just got to beat him. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, right now, that puts uh, Federico Sandy in a, a really good position. Uh, and, I mean, Brock is going to be ruining himself. You can see there he's right on the back of that group. But, and if he didn't crash yesterday, let's say he got 10 points, he would have been fine where he is right now. He would have won the championship, but he made that mistake. I just got a feeling he's going to pay for it today. The lead is 3.9 seconds for Aslan Shah from Federico Sandy. This is a race that Aslan Shah has taken by the scruff of the neck. Aslan Shah, 36-1. Last time round, fastest lap of the race. Next, uh, Federico Sandy did a 37-2. So, I mean, that just shows you 1.1 seconds like quicker than second place. Parks, 4.6 seconds down on his main rival for the championship. Aslan Shah Kamrozaman is in a fantastic position. Zakwan has overtaken Federico Sandy. Apiwat has got Brock Parks right on his tail. Parks must just believe and lap consistently and make slow but sure uh, dents into that lead for Aslan Shah. Yeah, well, I mean, Parks, he just needs to just give it everything he's got now. He's, nope, there he goes. Good move on Appiwath. He's made that before too, but Appiwath is fighting back strong. Uh, let's hope that he can keep it. But once again, Appiwath up the inside, not scared. Parks needs to cut back to the inside. He's got good drive out, and he does. Up back up the inside, he can't do it. Federico Sandy, welcome to Asia. Certainly is, and all of this is great news for Aslan Shah because he is not racing. These guys are dueling, and that costs you vital hundreds of seconds. There is Zakwan in P2. Sandy is just being edged up by Apiwop for P3. Parks has a look on the inside. In the distance, Aslan Shah, the lead is 4.5 seconds and 5.7 seconds to Parks. Yep, Parksy has uh, pretty much got to do something now. Seven laps to go with a lead of that amount. It's, uh, it's nearly out to like 0.8 of a lap, but uh, Parksy has got to improve. But with Aslan Shah doing 36 fours, that would mean that Brock would have to start lapping in the 35s from this point on. And I don't think that's going to happen at the moment. So uh, Aslan Shah is looking pretty sweet at the moment. He will be the one that will decide uh, his future, if you like. The next seven laps are in his hands. If he doesn't make a mistake, he will be the champion. But it's not going to be that easy. Chai Wichit's gone through now. Chai Wichit has come through on Brock Parks. So he certainly has. There's a problem for Parks. Parks had a lead of 45 points as they went into Sepang. Four races to go over Aslan Shah Kamrozaman. Aslan Shah got a double victory at Sepang at 20 points yesterday. And now Parks is really, well, he's, he's fighting back now. Parks has gone inside Chai Wichit. He knows that his title is on the line. He must do something pretty radical and he must, must do it pretty quickly. Yeah, he. he it, I think it's too late now. There's, the, the gap is too big, and Aslan Shah is just going so fast. The, the only way that this is going to change at this point is if, if someone puts pressure on Aslan Shah, and I can't see that happening. If Aslan Shah makes some sort of mistake, that's the only way it's going to happen. He's already gone over the finish line. 36-2 last time round for Aslan Shah. That is now to Brock Parks, 7.1 seconds, more than a second a lap. It's pretty much over for Brock Parks' this championship. And look at the lead he's got. Wow, he is loving this. And he's done this from very early on, Aslan Shah Kamrozaman. He looks to be riding pretty smoothly as well, which isn't something you can always say about him. But that's a nervous look over the shoulder. And uh, 
the boss of one XOX looks on. He's not counting his chickens. Well, you cannot count your chickens before they're hatched, especially in this. You never know what might happen. You might pick up a puncture. You might have a mechanical failure. We've seen that happen today in different classes across the field. But one thing we oh, know... Oh, Pox has gone wide. Pox has had a real problem. He is forced way, way wide. And that, surely, Steve Martin, is it for Aslan Shah. Well... Yet yeah, Brock has certainly made it hard for himself now, and you can just see the team there. They know that all of that hard work throughout the year is pretty much over. Sandy is chasing in P4 behind Appy Watt and Zakwan Zaini. Zakwan's looking good, but Aslan Shah is looking imperial. What a display from Aslan Shah. I mean, yesterday, Zakwan Zaidi. You would say he was unbeatable here this weekend. He's just set his fastest lap of the race, a 36.8, but that's nothing compared to the last lap of Aslan Shah, 36.2. At least Aslan slowed down a little bit now, 36.6. Still quicker than everybody else out there, Des. Zach one is 4.89 down. Api Watson, Sandy, three and four. Titi Pong, five. Chai Wichit, six. Ito, seven. Brock Parks, got a feel for him. He's down to P8. Even if he gets up to P6, it probably won't be enough. Barring an absolute catastrophe, this is a five-lap lap of honour. Yeah, pretty much. Um, there'll be a lot going through Aslan Shah's mind now. He'll be hearing all sorts of noises in that motor that uh, have never been there before. He'll be hoping that uh, everything stays in. He'll be keeping his fingers crossed the team. Boy, what about them in the pits at the moment? They'll be just telling him to slow down every time he goes across. He's got this in the bag now. He's his own worst enemy out there. If anything's going to happen, it's going to happen because he just loses concentration. But he's not that man. He's a man that's been around for a while. He knows how to win. He knows how to win championships too. So keep an eye on him. On the BMW for the first time, the first BMW in the ASB championship, it looks like the European brand might take the first ever crown. And he is riding really, really smoothly. A little bit of a wobble there, but the knee is close to the ground. You, you like that style. He's not flailing around as sometimes he does. And he's got no competitors to cause him a problem. Leaves the braking nice and late, can choose his own line into corner 12. It'll be four laps to go as he crosses the start-finish line. Zach one comes through over the start-finish line, and the differential is... Five seconds, it's gone up, it's bigger, and there is the prize that's on display. This is a display, this is a display, this is teaching the rest of the field how to ride under pressure. Aslan Shah is just showing these guys how to ride a superbike. What a brilliant ride, the team can be so proud of their achievement here today. Titi Pong up into P3, Apiwat in four, Sandy has dropped down a little bit into P5, Chai Wichit and Yuke Ito, and Brock Parks is 11.11 .11 seconds down on the race leader. For Brock, it's now just hoist yourself up as high up the standings as you possibly can. Yep, just uh, as they head down that back straight there, he's right behind his teammate. I think uh, Brock knows what the story is now. He's uh, stuck there behind uh, Yuki Ito. Uh, these will be probably the worst laps of the year for Brock because he knows that uh, when he comes back to the pit box, instead of the joy that could have been... Well, he's got past one. He's got past uh, Yuki Ito. It's, it's, that's, just, uh, that's just for in-team pride. But it, it, nevertheless, when he, get back, when he gets back to the pit box, there isn't going to be too many happy people they won't be angry everyone's going to be sad because it was their championship but they've let it slip away in the meantime as we follow on with brock parks remember he was leading the championship coming in he was red hot favorite right let's see if the one xox manager is brave enough to talk to us uh, bobby farid i think is ready to talk to wheeling Okay, thank you, Des. Down here at 1XOX TKKR SAG Pit. So it looks like, uh, Mr. Bobby, it looks like Aslan so far has a comfortable lead in the front. How are you uh, feeling with three more laps to go in the final season? Uh, uh, I, I, I really cannot tell you how I'm feeling right now. Obviously, we are excited to see this, but we still have three laps to go and we, are, we have to wait until the checkered flag. But at this moment, we are. Uh, I'm amazingly 
I don't know how to say, but I'm amazingly happy about this. All right, thank you so much. Good luck for the final three laps. Yeah, Bobby Farid, what a brilliant uh, job he's done in all classes here. And this is the the icing on the cake for him to be able to, to take this ASB Championship in its first year. You've got to take your team off to that uh, to, to him and, and what he's done to be able to put together that uh, brilliant, uh, breathtaking team down there. The one XOX TWKR SAG team really have pulled it all together in all classes and it looks like here today in a matter of moments now less than five minutes he's going to have the the big daddy of all crowns that will be the first 1000 cc superbike on the asia road racing championship it looks like it's going to malaysia and it looks like it's going to bmw aslan shark on razam and he is not at all backing off here his lead over zach on 6.33 seconds he's going quicker and quicker not slower every lap that he has done his fastest lap is a 36 1 which is the fastest lap of the race last lap was a 36 4 which is probably about his slowest lap of the race every other lap has been in between that so this is a display that uh, you don't get to witness very often it's a brilliant Brilliant ride by this man out front. It's not as exciting as you'd like because there's there's no racing, but that's just because Aslan Shah Kamazan's performance ever since the start, he got off to a great start, and ever since the first corner, he has been utterly dominant. Well, I think the guys in the TWKR pit box are pretty excited right now because they are watching their man come through and you've got to say leading into this weekend you wouldn't have thought that uh, you know that he was in with a chance of victory Brock had a decent lead heading in here uh, but once again the cards have played out into the hands of this man Aslan Shah Kamru Zaman the lead 6.33 seconds Brock Parks well he's still going backwards he's 12.2 seconds down he's up into P6 which will um, confirm his place in second position in the overall championship standings. But that will be little consolation because it was a title to lose. We come into the final lap of the season of the 2019 ARC Superbikes Championship. And it will be a lap of honor for Aslan Shah Kamruzaman, the veteran Malaysian. We've known about him in Asia for so long. He has lifted so many crowns, but this will be probably the best come from behind victory of his career. Yeah, unbelievable to see him display. What a display. He nearly won the 600 class last year, riding for Kawasaki. Was was unsure where he would be this year, but he made his way into this uh, 1XOX team. And I tell you what, since the start of the season, he has been on fire. They started off really, really strong with a victory at uh, round one. Round two didn't work out so well for them, but victories that throughout the middle part of the year and a double victory here in Buriram earlier on in the year had put him in the perfect position to make this lap the most enjoyable lap of the year for him and the team. Let's remember, Des, this is the first year of this championship and guess where that uh, trophy is gonna go, assuming that he can get through these next two or three corners. I am sure he will maybe just settle down. He has got such a huge lead. 6.7 seconds ahead of Zach Wanzidi, who himself has ridden a pretty healthy race. But Aslan Shah Kamruzaman comes through and will pick up his sixth victory in 14 races. It will be three wins in the last four, five consecutive podiums, and the champion of Superbikes ARRC 2019, Aslan Shah Kamruzaman. What a display. That was brilliant stuff by Aslan Shah. If I had a hat on, I'd take it off. Brock Parks has to be satisfied if that's the word with seventh place 12.7 seconds behind that is worth nine points 
but he has seen a lead in the championship evaporate over the last four races of the season. And Aslan Shah Kamruzaman on the BMW is the first ever champion. Congratulations to him. Congratulations also to Parks for taking us right the way to the end of the campaign. Absolutely, Brock Parks, what a brilliant job he did. I'm sure that he played his part to, to lift the championship. He was so strong throughout the year in many, many races. But in the end, I cannot wait to see this man's face. Aslan Shah, what a display here in Buriram. We knew that he was going to be fast here. And to finish at this circuit uh, on that machine, that BMW around this circuit, probably the perfect package for this track. Uh, but. Even though if you've got the perfect package, you still need someone to be able to ride it. And he's done that to the limit. He decimated the field. 5.1 seconds to second place. OK, let's get a reaction from Wheeling and the one XOX team and the BMW engineers. All right, Bobby, congratulations. Your team and Aslan Shah Kamarazaman is the very first ASV 1000 champion. Yeah, thank you very much about that. And obviously we are happy and uh, looking back at when we started this class, uh, there's a lot of obstacles that we, we, we received to, to be in the class and the skeptical uh, uh, comments from the people that it is a very difficult thing to do in everything. But yet again, we approved to, to Malaysian that with all Malaysian crew, uh, with Malaysian rider, we did it. and. I need to thank the fans, uh, the, the, the crew that I have, which is incredible. Uh, XOX Mobile and One XOX uh, especially, and to all the fans of the TKKR Racing Team. All right, congratulations, and we're going to let you go celebrate with Aslan Shah. He's a multi-champion at the Asian level, three titles at different classes, Steve Martin, and uh, well, well, there wouldn't be one bigger than this one because this is as big as it gets. Superlatives. Okay, final result. Aslan Shah Kamrazaman slowing down 5.175 seconds ahead of Zakwan Zaidu, who's had a really good weekend. Zakwan uh, had a, a first and a second to finish his season. Aslan Shah Kamrazaman, three wins and two second places in the last five races of the season. He's come from nowhere to take the title. Titipong, another good performance from Titipong. Back to back podiums for him. That's four podiums in a row, five in the last six. Happy Watt fourth. Sandy, his best result, joint best result of the season. 11 points for him, 4P5. Chai Wichit Parks in seventh, Ito in eighth. Ahmad Yudhisthira on Victor Racing. He's tried to be as competitive as he possibly can be. Was able to hold on to nine. TJ Alberto, Ali Adrianza, Ratapong and uh, Lachlan Epis uh, both um, out. But there is the, uh, the Malaysian flag being waved very, very proudly by Aslan Shah Kamruzaman. Must be a great feeling. You've been there, Steve. You've been there. Well, yeah, I, I, I've um, I've been lucky enough to to feel the feeling that he's had there, and it's uh, just fantastic. And uh, to be able to hold your country flag out as you're going around like that is uh, just a special moment. And it, the photos of this, he will look at in another 10 or 15 years' time and say, "Today was a special day." Flashing on our on our report card. Bike number 25, that's Aslan Shah, has got to report to race control after the podium. Well, there's another $250. <laughs> of course, that will be for taking his hand off the handlebar uh, before the end of the race. So, uh, yep, uh, rightly so, you, sh you need to maintain control of your machine, even if you've won a championship or not. Oh, he's lost his glove too. He's taken his glove off there. Um, but I tell you what, I just cannot wait to see the celebrations when he gets in because uh, the team are going to be so receptive, so happy. He's, um, he's just going to love this. I think there might be a bit of rubber left on the track here at Buram. It is a, it's a terrific performance. Five races ago, not, not a chance, not a chance. A 45 point lead, you said before. 45 point lead, 45 point deficit. Here we go, here we go. That's why he chose a hard though, because he wanted to lay a lot of rubber on the ground at the end of the race. What, <laughs> what a day.
Malaysian boss, Malaysian crew, Malaysian rider. Very proud day. In analysing the race, uh, it, um, I suppose you, you look at the distance of the victory and you, if you're a cynic, you might say anticlimactic, but I'm thinking quite the reverse. I'm just looking at a, a stupendous sporting achievement from Aslan Shah. That was a special ride. It wasn't that everyone was slow. He was just um, insanely fast every lap between 0.1 and 0.2 difference from the fastest lap of the race. Uh, he deserves to be the champion here today. That was just breathtaking the way that he pushed the limits um, lap after lap corner after corner when he perhaps didn't need to okay let's go down to wheeling and she is talking to our first superbike champion at the rrc aslan shah kamruzaman thank you that's down here we are very first asv 1000 champion aslan shah kamruzaman share it us <laughs> How did you do it today? You know, I just, it's crazy. I just give 100%, you know, from start until finish. You know, I never think about who people behind me. Maybe I look one time in behind and I saw the board like plus 30. Then I just focus on myself and keep keep going on and keep pushing until I, I, I take the checkered flag. So this is your third Asia title, two Super Sport 600cc title and one 1000. How yeah. has the entire uh, process been being with a new team and a new bike this year? You know, it's, it's been an incredible year. You know, my team is not a factory, you know, we are like satellite team. But this year we work very hard all together, all the team. And, you know, this is a this is, uh, so emotional moment for me because from uh, it's normal team and uh, we win the championship together, you know, guys? Yeah! Oh, yeah. All right, thank you, Aslan, and we will allow him to celebrate with the team before we head for podium. I think there's going to be quite uh, some celebration going on in that um, group tonight. They, it's the end of a long season, but it's also when, when you perform like that and you show yourself to be world class, we begin the podium ceremony for the ASV 1000 Race 2. Coming in third place today, Titi Pong Warakon from Kawasaki Thailand Racing Team. In second place, Mohammad Zakwan Zaidi from Honda Asia Dream Racing with Showa. And today's ASB 1000 Race 2 winner, Aslan Shah Kamaru Zaman from 1XOX TKKR SAG Team. We also like to invite the team manager from 1XOS TKKRS AG team to join the riders on the podium. We will now stand for the national anthem of Malaysia. to invite Ms. Chalanda Chopchi, the Chief of Professional Sport Standardization Section of Sport Authority of Thailand, to present the riders with their trophies. Coming in third place today from Thailand, Titipong Warakon. 
Finishing in second place today from Malaysia, Muhammad Zakwan Zaidi. And to the ASV 1000 race two winner from Malaysia, Aslan Shah Kamaru Zaman. And the best team award today goes to 1XOX TKKR SAG team. Our thanks to Jalanda Chubjit, the Chief of Professional Sports Standardization Section for the Sports Authority of Thailand for handing out the awards to Aslan Shah, Kamru Zaman and Zakwan Zaidi. Also Titi Pong, we've not really mentioned Titi Pong. Terrific comeback. His injury earlier on this season uh, was, was horrific since he's come back four straight podiums. Yeah, you've got to take your, your hat off to him. That was an absolutely brilliant display from the injury. Aslan Shah Khan was arm and 238 points, 13 points clear of a frustrated and disappointed Brock Parks on 225. Big credit for him, though, for the way he competed right to the end. Zach Wanzadi, a good third for him. Apiwat, UK Ito, fifth on 160 points. Titipong, 139, could have been so much better without that injury. Ratapong and Ahmad Yudhisthira, real credit for Ahmad Yudhisthira on uh, the Victor Racing Team, 83 points. Uh, Chai Witchip picked up points today to end on 79, level with Bayern Staring. Federico Sandy, four races, 40 points. That uh, got him close to TG Alberto. They'll both be back next season in the Ducati. Uh, below that, Ali Adrianza, Rizmi Putro for the 1XOX team, picking up a point today.